Back in 2014, not long after Mark had joined the FA, we had anonymous allegations about his time at Bristol Academy. Um, we needed to investigate those, and that investigation was done thoroughly and professionally by our independent safeguarding unit. That report concluded in 2015. It said that um, he was fine to carry on working as a, as, as a football participant, provided some training was undertaken. The miss was that the general question about his conduct at the time, to which he admitted, which is really to do with overstepping the boundaries between coach and player. Nothing illegal, but things that actually, in the FA's eyes, mean that as an FA employee, it's difficult or impossible for him to continue. The reason we're part in company with Mark Sampson today was, was based on conduct which an inquiry had, um, had concluded in, in, in March 2015. The concerns raised about um, any, from any Aluka were to do with potential bullying and racism. There are two just very different issues, which are, it's very understandable to put them together. They're very different issues. The complaints raised by any Aluka were to do with bullying, potential bullying and potential racism. The complaint that there was, was dealt with about Mark Sampson was seen through the lens of safeguarding. Very different issues. We took the uh, decision to terminate Mark Sampson's contract you know, extremely seriously after a lot of thought with the facts being weighed up. I, I think the message to us all is we have to have the highest of standards if we're going to be trusted to be the governing body of football.